Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while, at least like not vlogged leaving my house. <laughs> I feel like every video I'm home, um, which is mostly my life. So I'm out of breath. I just got in the car and I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. Um, I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment yesterday uh, on Wednesday. I have a doctor's appointment every Wednesday and it was canceled because there's a huge there was a huge snowstorm that was going on the last like two days um, and it was rescheduled for today except today instead of going to my doctor's office and them doing like um, what they just normally do um, they're having me go to labor and delivery and do like a non-stress test there so basically the non-stress test is just when they um, connect me and my baby to uh, a heart rate monitor or something my baby not me like they don't listen to my heart at least that not that I know of but um, they just listen to her heart for like 20 or 30 minutes and um, they do an ultrasound so I've been having an ultrasound like every week and they always print me out a photo or a couple photos so I always look forward to seeing her um, whew, I'm out of breath. so I'm always looking forward to seeing her every Wednesday um, today I'm officially 36 weeks so almost full term like full term 37 weeks and then you know you give birth at like anywhere between I guess 37 and like 42 or something like that so I'm hoping she comes soon I don't want her to come too soon though because I know that she's like still developing in there her lungs are like the last to develop I think um, and I don't want her to have to like stay at the hospital when we go home if she comes too early or something like that you know so um yeah anyway I just can't wait so I'm on my way about to leave to go to the appointment and um today I just wanted to vlog because I feel like like I said I haven't vlogged in forever and this video was supposed to be a nursery tour but Angel is like doing his dad nesting <laughs> like you know how nesting is like a thing for pregnant women and they like clean their house and organize and get everything ready for the baby um yeah he has his own version of that where he um sands the ceiling and patches holes and paints little marks in the walls and cleans the garage and stuff like that so um yeah he's been doing that so the nursery is like a little not um how I wanted to present it <laughs> um so yeah that'll be another video when he's done doing that but yeah that video is definitely coming so anyway I'm about to just go and start editing So I'm back from my doctor's appointment. It's actually been a couple of hours now. I went to my doctor's appointment at 12.30 and um, it is supposed to be just like a 20 minute, like I said, 20 or 30 minute um, test where they monitor my heart and the, or my baby's heart and then um, an ultrasound. And um, yesterday, the appointment that got canceled, I was also supposed to do like the, I think it's called like group B or stress B test, something like that, where they like, it's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> they like swab an area to see if you test positive for something, and then if you do, then you have to get like something before you give birth. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but they did end up doing that this uh, today. <sighs> I'm so full. Anyway, I was there at that appointment for like two hours. It was very long, but yeah, my baby was good, and they did an estimation of, like, her weight, too, and it's, she's estimated, like, it could be plus or minus, like, some ounces, but, uh, five pounds and five ounces at 36 weeks, so I'm, my guess that when she's born, I'm guessing that she will weigh six pounds and ten ounces, so, uh, my whole family, like, me, my mom, my dad, brother, sister, and Angel. I still have the tree up, by the way. Um, we all wrote down our guesses of when she will be born and how much she will weigh. But yeah, it's now 5.12. I actually just finished with work. Um, I have my computer open like in front of me right now. So I just finished with work and I made some chili and I ate like two bowls of that and I'm so full. Um, 
Here, I'll do also a update of how big I am. So here's my belly with my shirt. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my god. It's literally so big. Oh. Whew. I can't even breathe right now. But yeah, 36 weeks. Anyway, I've been watching Euphoria. I started yesterday, and uh, it's kind of funny because Zendaya is in Euphoria. And um, I like to joke. It's not anything serious. I'm completely joking. Don't come for me if you are loving Zendaya and everything. But Angel used to have like the biggest crush on her. I always joke that like I don't like Zendaya because of that. But I, I have no issue with her, obviously. <laughs> but um, I haven't watched this show and it's everywhere. Everybody's talking about this show like on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Like I cannot scroll past something for like one day and it not be about euphoria um so i started watching it yesterday i'm on the last episode of season one already and i don't i still don't know if i really like the show like i like the show like there's a lot of drama that happens and like a lot of like stuff to follow but it seems so unrealistic like these kids are supposed to be in high school these kids are supposed to be like 16 17 years old and they're like doing drugs and being extremely adult even more than adult the way they dress the way they talk the way they think like it's just very different from anything I've ever experienced uh, or also heard of a teenager um, like I, think, I know teenagers are kind of wild and crazy but like this is another level so that's why I think this show is very unrealistic but it's also a good show just like it's tv you know maybe i'm just getting old but i'm just like shocked to think like of a 16 or 17 year old behaving this way but anyway and i also think maybe it's because i'm pregnant and i'm gonna be a mom but i feel so bad for like their parents like and i'm watching the show and i see like zendaya's character i don't want to ruin any i think this came out in like 2019 so i guess if you haven't seen it by now i'm not really spoiling anything um Cause it was like a couple years ago, but start with me to feed them. It's not time yet. You still got a little bit. Zendaya's character, she's like a drug addict. And um, when it shows like her and her mom and everything, I just feel terrible for her mom. Like, I'm just like, wow, that must suck to to be worrying about her. And, and then Zendaya, eventually she like is protective of her sister too and I'm thinking yeah you're protective of your sister but here you are making your mom have a heart attack about the same things you know so I think I'm just seeing things now from like the other perspective instead of just like the kids perspective so that's probably what I'll do today I need, I'm gonna watch Euphoria I need to finish laundry and um, probably just like pick up my house and everything and play with my dogs and I actually have a yoga ball that I'm always bouncing on and it, and it uh, broke because I had it next to like the space heater and I, I think it like made a hole in it so I had to get a new one so I just got that today so I'll bounce on my bouncy ball um and yeah hi so it's like an entire week later and I haven't ended this video so I want to go ahead and end out this vlog um the nursery tour will be coming <laughs> um i completely missed posting a video last week and angel's still working on the house so i can't post it um the week coming up but um i'm 37 weeks now so i'm only getting closer to my due date she'll be here soon um but yeah i just wanted to say thank you for watching like subscribe comment share and come back for my next videos um i'll definitely do a nursery tour eventually a uh, third trimester recap and I've actually prepared some meals for the baby, like, uh, I mean, for us, but um, for when we have the baby, when we come home, we can have, like, pre-made meals. I'll explain that all in another video, but if that's something you're interested in, come back and watch that one. But yeah, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.